Hello everyone, welcome to today's impromptu video. I don't think in all my years of YouTube I've ever done a video like this where I have received a package, stopped what I was doing, and sat down to film but I feel like there are a lot of people waiting to hear reviews on the new Charlotte Tilbury Concealer, which is called the Beautiful Skin Radiant Concealer and the new Airbrush Brightening Powder. Now, as far as Charlotte Tilbury's concealers go, I think the majority opinion is that they aren't that great. They are not the most amazing concealers on the market. So I think a lot of us are very excited to see how this new one performs. A lot of us, especially those of us over 40, are looking for a concealer with coverage, but one that also doesn't look heavy and cakey and settle into fine lines. We want our under eyes to look as radiant and youthful as possible, but we also want our dark circles covered. So I was in the middle of getting ready to record some content for TikTok, and my Charlotte Tilbury order, which just contained these two items, arrived, and being that I am so eager to try these two products out, I decided to film it. I thought, why not? Let me turn on my camera and allow you to hear my first impressions of these products. I just finished editing my testing hot new makeup video for the month, and these just missed being included. So yeah, I just felt like I had to do a separate dedicated video and let you see my real initial reactions to these two products. Even though I have not loved Charlotte Tilbury concealers in the past, I have been a longtime fan of the Airbrush Flawless Pressed Powder, and I will often use the shade Fair in that powder to set my under eyes and to give a brightening effect. There so there are two shades of the new Airbrush Brightening Powder. There is the one I ordered, which is Fair Medium, and I was sent in a PR package a few days ago the Tan Deep. I have no idea why they would send me Tan Deep, but they did, and it arrived like this. So as you can see, that one definitely has some yellow tones to it. This one I have not opened yet. It looked kind of white online, and thankfully the one I personally ordered and paid for came in bubble wrap. The one they sent in the PR package was not bubble wrapped, hence why it ended up like this. So let's take a look at the Fair Medium. And yes, it does look in person just like it does online. And the claims are that it gives a brightening, blurring, and lifting effect. It targets dark circles and shadows. It says skin looks smoother and brighter by 80%, reduces the appearance of wrinkles by 81%. I would really like to know how they get these percentages. And then the last percentage they have listed on here is that dark circles appear reduced by 71%. Again, as far as I know, they do not disclose how they get these percentages, and I think the proof is just going to be in the performance on how you and I feel about it when we try it. Now granted, luckily I do not have extremely dark circles, but I do have quite a bit of darkness, like a lot of us do, right here by the side of my nose, and in through here, I also have a lot of fine lines like most of us do have. I have slightly dry under eyes. They're not extremely dry, but they are dry. So I am going to start, before I apply the new concealer, I'm going to use a little bit of eye cream. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Eye Rescue. So I'm just gonna put a little bit under my eyes. I do obviously have a full face of makeup on, but I did thoroughly remove anything I had under my eyes. And once this sets, or while this sets, I will give you some of the claims that the new concealer has. And that is that dark circles appear reduced by 40% in 28 days, skin looks smoother and more radiant by 43%, boosts hydration 173% in one hour. It contains hyaluronic acid, golden vitamin C, collagen, and niacinamide. And I chose the shade 3.5 Fair. Now I'm going to zoom you in and I'm going to use my BK Beauty A506 brush. And then for the new brightening powder, I'm going to use this brush from the Morphe Makeup by Ariel collection. So this is the packaging of the concealer. It is far better than the packaging of their other concealers. With that little sponge tip that always got so messy and clumpy and it made it difficult to even get the cap off. It has a classic doe foot applicator and now it's time to go in and test it out. So I always put my concealer right in here. Ooh, this is very light. I knew it was gonna be light because it's in the fair category, but this is lighter than I expected. So that's about how much I'm going to use. And it's very creamy. I do like the consistency. 
I do like a brighter under eye, so this actually might work. I don't want it to look too bright, but I'll blend it down through here. And yeah, I think it might be just a tad too light for me. But I do like the way it looks as far as how it's sitting underneath my eyes and how much it covered. It definitely has a slight sheen to it. And I did let that under eye cream dry. So it's not like that's what's coming through. It's definitely the concealer that is very radiant. All right, we are off to a good start. Let's do the other eye. I'm gonna do a little bit less on this side because a little bit does go a long way, and that's a good thing. I like when concealers are highly concentrated, meaning that you can get a lot of coverage from very little product. So yeah, this was a better amount, I think. So what did I say this was, 3.5? I might give this one to someone who has a lighter skin tone than I do and order a new one in a darker color. What do you guys think? I think it's very brightening and it looks very nice under my eyes. I'm flipping my mirror around to look at the very, very magnified side. It looks really good. I will take some footage when I'm done applying both products. I will take some footage with my camera in natural light, but in this light, it's good. In my opinion, this is a vast improvement from Charlotte Tilbury's other concealer. I think once I set my under eyes and maybe apply a little bit more blush, this is actually going to look nice. I can make this lighter shade work. So my first impressions of the Radiant Concealer are very good. Now let's try the powder. I decided I wanted to use a different brush than the one I said I was going to use. This is the Sigma Soft Blend Concealer Brush. As you can see, it is smaller than the Morphe. I just think the shape of brush is better for placement underneath the eye. So I'm going to go in just like this, pick up the product, tap off the excess, and pat it in. Ooh. Okay. That is very brightening. I don't know if it's picking up on camera, but here, in my mirror, this eye looks even more bright than it did before. So now I'm patting into the other side. I'm gonna put a little bit through my T-zone just to brighten up this area as well. And around my mouth. I don't think it's going to brush away the wrinkles under my eyes like the claims on the box state. But let's take a closer look. Now, as most of my regular viewers know, I am typically a big fan of Charlotte Tilbury products, but there are still several products within the brand that I do not rave about, that I do not like. And I kind of had low expectations for these products because I already thought the other airbrush powder did a great job, and I've just never been over the moon about her foundations and concealers. But I've gotta say that as of now, my first impressions are 10 out of 10 for both. Okay, I went and applied some more blush and highlight and put on some clothes, and I took this footage with my iPhone in natural light, I don't think I need to belabor the point here. I think these two products so far are excellent. Hopefully I don't change my mind, but if I do, I will definitely let you know. And that's the main reason why I don't typically do first impressions videos. I usually want to have an opinion that has been formed after at least three or four tries. So before I upload this video, I am going to wait a couple of hours just to make sure that my opinion doesn't change after three, four hours, and I have to come back and update what I've said already. But if you don't see any sort of update attached to the end of this video, then you should take it as my under eyes looked great later in the day. I am filming this right now at one in the afternoon. I'm going to try and have it up by seven or 8 p.m., which is kind of late Eastern time. I am on Pacific time. I have never done 
a nighttime upload ever in my six or seven years on YouTube. But for those of you who are really eager to hit that submit order button but just haven't yet and we're waiting for some sort of sign or some sort of review, then this is it. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. I will have all of the makeup that I have on my face listed and linked down below in the description box. If you are not already subscribed to my channel, please do hit that subscribe button. I do upload new content at least twice per week. This will be video number three of the week. And you can also find more content from me on Instagram and over on TikTok under the same username, Risa Does Makeup. Again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope to see you in my next video.